Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. It is time for a weigh-in and a meeting topic. So let's get started. So of course we will start right away with the weigh-in and that way if you don't want to listen to the meeting topic you don't have to search for the weigh-in as you know i changed things up a little bit this week i am still 100 percent counting weight watchers points but i also decided to count calories for the next couple weeks i just want to see where i'm landing i just want to see if i'm eating enough I don't consume a lot of food. I just don't anymore. After losing 65 pounds, my stomach has gotten smaller and I cannot eat in the quantity that I used to eat. Plus, I realize I don't need to and it makes me feel like bleh. So, I don't eat huge quantities of food. I am trying to eat healthier foods and more nutrient dense foods and more whole foods. And they are sometimes well, all the time, higher in points, but not necessarily higher in calories. So it's, it's a struggle, but I just decided to forge ahead for two weeks. Whatever happens, happens. If I gain weight, I'll lose it again. I don't care. It's an experiment. So that being said, I've been over my points every day, but not negative in my weeklies. Because of the exercise I do, I get weeklies at it. And I've used a lot of those. Even though I am going over my points every day and sometimes by a decent amount, I'm way under my calorie goal, way under my calorie goal. Um, like just a quick example, I'm gonna do a whole video on this, but it's like just a quick example. Yesterday, I, I get 21 points a day. Yesterday, I had 37 points. My calorie goal was 1,800 to 2,260. I had 1,355. And I had a big pasta dinner. I had two bowls of soup for lunch or double serving of soup. And we went out for homemade ice cream last night. So, yeah, um, I'm enjoying this little experiment. It's helping me see a few things. Do I still love WW? I do. You know I do. Do I love some plans more than others? Absolutely. Um, do I think there's a lot of room for improvement? Yep, but that's with anything. We just have to take the plan we are on and make it work for us. And right now for me, it is double counting just to see. So all that being said, what did the scale show this week? I was down 3.6 pounds. Yes, down 3.6 pounds. So what does this tell me? Well, it's only been a week. And you know, you, you need two to three weeks to, to see really what happens. So it's only been a week. Um, but maybe it's telling me that I need to eat my points, my, my weekly points. And I know, I know I've always been one to not eat my points because when I was losing the weight initially, I didn't eat very many weeklies at all. But, you know, that was three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, however long it's been. My body has changed, my hormones have changed, my metabolism has probably changed, so maybe it's time to change things up a little bit. Maybe I do need to eat those points. That's why I thought it was really, really important to double track my calories, especially because of the way I eat. The exa and, and, sorry, an example. The other day, I had an ice cream bar, um, a popsicle. Doug and I had a popsicle. I bought popsicles at Aldi. The popsicle was 90 calories. That is not a lot of calories, my friends. 90 calories is not a lot. 
it was all whole ingredients. It was cane sugar, cream, heavy cream, and strawberries. That 90 calorie bar was five points. Three in, and water. So four ingredients, whole food ingredients. Five points, 90 calories. Now you can look at the, and it was, it satisfied me. It was deli, it was so delicious. It was called Johnny Pops. I got them at Aldi. It was the strawberries and cream, but anyway. So I, I took the points because it was only 90 calories. I took the points. I knew that I was eating a treat, but at least that treat, yes, it had sugar in it, but that treat at least was all good whole foods. Now, I was talking to Kim about it and she's like, yeah. And those, she bought some fiber one bars that she just said were absolutely nasty. They were only two points, but also 90 calories. And guess what? There was a whole lot more than four ingredients and there was some stuff in there that I couldn't even pronounce. So you have to do what's right for you. You have to do what's right for your journey. I'm discovering my journey is changing a little bit and that's okay. It's okay. We all have to do what's right for us. Um, but I'm, I'm really digging the double tracking for now. Is it going to get old? Probably. But right now it's kind of fun. And I really think it's helping me see how I can work the program a little bit better to my advantage for the state of life I am in now, the season of life I am in now. So like I said, I'll do a whole video and I'll give you like each day what I did. And, and I am weighing, going against everything I believe and I'm weighing every morning also because I want to get a big picture. I want to see where I am every day, um, you know, ups and downs and things like that. And it's interesting. It, it's really interesting. Um, here comes a little TMI. Sorry, but it's a part of weight loss. I did not use the bathroom for about five days. And when I finally did, I dropped like 2.1 pounds the next morning. So that counts too. So I, what, why I told you that TMI bit, I don't want you to, if, you, if you're a once a week wear, which I am, you know that. Sometimes you've done everything right. You've eaten perfectly. You've stayed on plan. You, you exercise. You got your water in. And you get on the scale and it hasn't budged or it's gone up. Don't forget there's other factors that cause that. And I just prove that to myself. That's what happens sometimes. Yep. So don't be discouraged when you think you had a fantastic, when you know you had a fantastic week and then the scale does not comply. So anyway, that's it for my way in down 3.6 pounds. Am I expecting that next week? Nope. I'm hoping for a loss though. Um, we will see. So let's get, I just texted Andrew before I started this video and said, hey, are you gonna record a little weigh in for me? Haven't heard back from him. If he does send me a video back, I'll insert it right here. If not, I'll just tell you how he did this week. Okay, I just heard from Andrew and he did not have time to record this morning. So I will let you know that he is down two pounds this week. He's thrilled. Um, he is still hitting the gym a lot. He just, I was talking to him the other day and he was just like, mom, I just feel so good. He said, I just feel so good about my food choices. And I just feel so good about, you know, exercising because I just forgot how good you can feel. So that made this mama's heart really, really happy. Um, so oh, he, on Monday, he attempted a, hundred, a thousand pound club. And that is when you lift a thousand pounds as a combination of a squat lift, a deadlift and a bench press. He did it back in high school and he did it in college and he attempted it again Monday and he missed by 25 pounds. He needed to squat like 400 and he only squatted 375. So he was a little bit bummed 
but he will try again. And that's something you don't try again for several months because it's taxing on your body. So he'll try again, but you know, he's glad he hasn't done it in a while. So he's glad he was able to do 975. Um, he's still training for his Murph and he's really enjoying living life right now. He's having a really good time in his uh, master's program in his community. And he's super duper excited to start teaching in September. So I, I think he's going to, I think he's going to stick with the, the whole weight loss program, even when life gets crazy for him. So that is his way in down two pounds. So let's get to the topic. Okay. Let's get to this meeting topic, how to fit in fitness. Even if you've only got a few minutes, you know, fitness is huge for me. A body in motion stays in motion. A body in rest stays at rest. We do not exercise to lose weight. It helps sometimes. We exercise for our health. There's my two little mantra lines. There, they're out in the open because you knew I was going to say them. So even if you only have a few minutes, it's all you need sometimes. An ideal activity routine helps you feel less tense. So when your schedule fills up or your energy nosedives, don't stress about how to fit in what you usually do. Take a breath and stretch your definition of what it means to be active. Then they say, try this. What to focus on? Do you want to focus on your core? Where to start? Sit in a chair. How to stretch? Slowly rotate torso and head left, then right, then repeat. See, you don't have to stand up and, and go down to the floor and touch your toes. You can sit in a chair. You're activating your core, you're activating your obliques, you're activating your back and your shoulders just by twisting your body a little bit. Now, am I gonna say do that for 10 seconds and be done? No, 10 seconds is not enough. Dedicate five minutes to it. Um, you know, I've said a hundred times before, sit in your chair and do the alphabet. Sit there, take your arms and trace the alphabet in the air. Now, the bigger you do it or the smaller you do it, depends on your fitness level. Try it, go all the way through the alphabet, tracing the alphabet with your arms. It's not as easy as it sounds, my friends, it's not. You will get tired, but you can do it seated. You can work those arms. And at the same time, you're working your core and your obliques because you're moving. Make a plan, not an excuse. So next, back and hamstrings. You can do it standing or seated. Lift arms over the head, hinge at your waist, and reach for your toes. Lower back and glutes. Lie on your back if you can get down on the floor and draw your knees to your chest, then lower them to one side as your torso rotates. And it goes on and on and it tells you how to do this. I will try to take a screenshot of this and put it in at the end of this video so you can see what it does because there's no point in me standing here telling you how to do all this because I'm not going to, I'm, I'm already dressed and showered for the day. I'm not going to um, demonstrate. So then it says have five or 10 minutes, open the Obey Fitness in the WW app, scroll down to stretches and choose a full body session. Or if you've already got stretches on your body loves, lean on those. Just stretching will make you feel so much better. Whenever I do yoga, before bed at night, I sleep better, I feel better. And why don't I do it every night? Cause I'm lazy. I need to start making that 10 minutes, 10 minutes, a quick Vyanasa, just 10 minutes and you feel so much better. But I'm not perfect either. So there's so many different exercise apps you can use. And some of them are quick. This morning, Doug and I did not have a lot of time um, we both have, the, the meat birds are taking a little bit longer in the morning now to take care of. Um, so we have to donate, d donate? We have to um, dedicate more time to them. Doug had to leave early this morning. He had to be at work a little bit early this morning. I had a few things I had to do, so we didn't have time. So instead of our normal like 45 minutes, we did 20. We did something. We have an exercise app. We have several exercise apps that we use and it's easy to find a 20 minute workout. Now, after I did my 20 minute, like that kind of workout, 
I had some time while I was doing other things and I had time to do a little bit more of a work of an easier um, walking workout. So it's just making the time, it's making the plan and not an excuse to fit in some movement. You just have to find, everybody has the same 24 hours a day. What you do with those 24 hours is on you. Um, do you watch TV at night? Nothing wrong with watching TV at night. I love me some Phillies. I love to watch my ball games. But guess what? You can work out during those. Every time a commercial gets on, do laps around the house or walk in place or do jumping jacks if that's your level of fitness. Do something. Or if you're watching, if you like watching a ball game, you know, say, okay, um, for the next five batters, I'm going to march in place or it's just something like that. Or, you know, every time, if somebody hits a home run, I'm going to walk a mile in place. I don't know, make it fun, make it fun. If you're, you know, if you're watching like a, a like a murder mystery show or whatever, you know, every time somebody accuses somebody, do some jumping jacks, make it fun. There's always time to fit some movement in. There always is time. You just have to make a plan for it. You're gonna feel better. So it says, let's dive a little deeper. If you have a regular activity routine, you probably worked your butt off to get to the routine part. First, high five. Second, it's totally understandable if you have feelings when stuff gets in the way of it, whether a mountain of to-dos or a single unexpected one. Or maybe you just can't muster the mental or physical energy some days. Whatever's stopping you, it's not an excuse of the dog ate my homework variety. Meaning it's okay, life is gonna life. Yes and no. Make a plan, not an excuse. What you can do. Okay, I'm sorry. They were saying if your regular routine gets interrupted, that's when you can say it's okay if your regular routine gets interrupted and then you can do something else instead. What you can do, get flexible. Stretching makes an ideal plan B, C, or D because it still gets you moving but often takes less time, less equipment, and less raw drive when life muscles in on your plan A. Not only does stretching increase flexibility and feel good, Research also shows it can make daily activities easier and decrease your risk of injury. You know, when you're reaching for an object one minute and have an ice pack and ibuprofen the next. And like your regular workout, it can bust stress, boost mood, and may even help grow your points budget. Meanwhile, being flexible with your routine, meaning resisting an all or nothing approach. Well, I don't have time to run my 5K this morning, so I'm just gonna stay in bed. That's the all or nothing approach. If I can't do the whole thing, I'm not gonna do anything. That's not a good, that's stinking thinking, my friends. It can help you stay consistent on your weight loss journey. You may even enjoy stretching so much that you add it to your day when you, even when you do have time for your usual activities. Now, if you are injured or have any kind of medical problems, check with your healthcare provider before starting an exercise program. So that is, they want you to live flexibly. Stretching is wonderful. It is, if, if that's all you do every day, some sort of yoga, some sort of stretching, then fit it in, because you will feel better. And like I said, you don't need to get on the floor and contort your body and have you know your ankle behind your head you can stretch from your chair. Just try it, it feels good, it feels so good. I just said to Doug, I, it was yesterday morning, we were doing our workout and one of the very first things was Russian twist. It's where you sit on the floor, um, knees bent, raised feet, and we use a weight and we turn our body with the weight. And I said, I love when we do those early in the workout because like the first three times, my back cracks and it feels so good. You know, it's like the Rice Krispie guys, snap, crackle, pop in the morning for us. But anyway, just move. That's all. You don't have to be fancy. You don't need all the equipment. Just move. Trust me. It helps mentally. It helps physically. That's all I have to say about that. 
So my friends, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I do appreciate it. I hope this helped. I know sometimes I get a little, you know, general like, but I need to hear it. So I figure if I need to hear it, maybe somebody else out there does too. So don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love you to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out immensely. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite workout is. And I'll leave some videos linked right here that you can enjoy until my next upload. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Oh, and let me know how your weigh-in went. I will talk to you all soon.